And for the second boss, certainly not food chickens, but we're going to use wood. And dot dot dot, and that's the whole class. Oh, time is up for today. Stand up. Goodbye, class. Goodbye and thank you, okay. Mr. Tang. Such a boring English lesson. It's finally lunch. You're right, man. Hey, what do you eat today? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, just a second. Oh, is the time really frozen? Well, why does it have to freeze at this moment anyway? Oh, okay, okay, let's move on. Now, Sunny just said a really chinglish sentence to Gromit. Do you know what's wrong? No, don't worry. I'll give you five seconds to think this through. Time's up. So what Sunny just said was. What do you eat today? This question made Sunny sound like he was asking, "What do humans eat?" This form of questions, "What do something eat?" is used to ask what a kind of living beings typically eat every day, like what do lions eat, what do elephants eat, or even what do plants eat. I believe Sunny was trying to ask Gromit about what he was having for his lunch, but he couldn't manage to say it properly. That's probably why Gromit was. This confused. The correct version of the question should be, "What are you having for lunch today?" Hey, Sunny. Do you know where I went last Saturday? I don't want to know. I went to Ocean Park to see Pui Pui. Oh my God! I don't really care. But for last Saturday, I went to the Hong Kong Valley Park to play a lot of machine games. <laughs> uh. Again? Okay, I'm just gonna blur this out just to make it a little bit less uncomfortable. So, as you may know, although what Gromit said was really questionable as well, Sunny just said something not quite right again. Do you know what it is this time? Now, here's what Sunny said. I went to the Hong Kong Battle Park to play a lot of machine games. Machine games. <laughs> Well, some people can make it even worse by saying moving, but they are both very common in English, and it will actually make people think that there are some sort of heavy machinery games. However, Sunny was actually talking about amusement rides like roller coasters, merry-go-rounds, and Ferris wheels. Of course, it would have been easier if Sunny had said, "I rode a lot of rides in the Hong Kong Wetland Park last Saturday." And no, there isn't any amusement rides. Just to make it clear. Sunny, it's already made. We have to hand in our project next week. Yeah. So what about we move on and just discuss about it? Okay. Yeah. So you know. Sodium trifluoride. Wait, 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 wait! Haha, Gromit isn't even confused this time. I don't have to blur the video. So now the stupid Sunny, Sunny just did it again. Can you figure out what it is? First, let's take a look at the Chinglish incident again. So, what about we move on and just? Discuss about it. Now, at first sight, you may probably find it correct yourself, but sadly, it's wrong. Or else, why would I quote that in the beginning, right? In fact, many of us find this guess about correct grammatically, including few of the teachers. However, it should be just this guess without about. So, in this case, Sunny should say, "What about we move on and discuss it together?" 